welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button for weekly automotive and family content. I want to show you what we have going on with Ram Beast Apparel, the wife, the boss. She's in charge of this. She's going to go through the merch. Original shirts. Um, AKA the traditional. Traditional. <laughs> Uh, as you see, we just have the little red, white, and blue motif going on. We have our thin blue line through RAM. And on the sleeve, you'll have your American flag with the thin blue line through it. Fairly new on the site, which has been, I think, huge hit. I, I definitely think this is the direction in which we're going to move forward with. Yeah, we can't, we can't keep these things in stock. No. <laughs> uh, so our tactical. So we have our sweatshirt. So it's grayed out. We still have our thin blue line through the RAM. And then on our sleeve, we still have our American flag with the thin blue line. I like this. I like these a lot. So we have these in sweatshirt. And we have them from sizes small all the way through 4X. Yeah, small through 4X. Tell them about how soft it is. Uh, I mean, seriously. Definitely. I can show you, but you're not going to be able to feel it. <laughs> and I wouldn't be just blowing smoke up your rear end. It's soft. It's nice, I like it a lot. Yeah, people love them. Our tactical t-shirts, so same sort of thing. It's grayed out, thin blue line through ram. Sounds like my water's boiling. <laughs> and on the sleeve, we have the American flag with the thin blue line through it. Same thing with these shirts, small all the way through 4X. Actually, that's kind of a lie because we have little people. Look how stinking cute this is. We hooked up a subscriber, Mitch, for his son, because yes. we, we don't have any use sizes, but I contacted the company that we use to make our shirts. So this is the smallest we can get. So we're giving this to Mitch, because every time we have a new item on the site, Mitch is always ordering. He's like first one. So we're hooking him up with this for free, but check out the back. They yeah. even, so they... because it's for a small little tyke, the American flag didn't fit on the sleeve. So it's on the back. How stinking cute is this? I love it. So thanks Mitch and fam. Thank you for your continuous support. We, we greatly appreciate it. Most definitely. Obviously ladies can have the sweatshirts and the traditional and the tacticals, but we also have the racer back tanks. So this one just has more so of the traditional motif on it. Though I'm probably gonna be asking for some of the tactical ones because I like that. So the back is just a regular racer back. And then around the sides, it looks like it's rolled down, but it is, um, it is finished very nicely. So we have our thin blue line key tag, as well as our warranty void key tag. And then on the other sides of them, uh, on both is just the Rambies project. Wait, you have to see what she did. <laughs> Winnie the Beast. Oh, uh, Winnie the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> and then also we have our hats, decals. We have our small. We have distressed and non-distressed. We have our medium. And you'll take note as well, you might not be able to see, but there is a blue line through RAM. Our large, and we have extra large. And then we also have this like huger size, but you know, if you're interested, just give us a shout out. We could probably get any size made for you that you need. This huge size is not on the site, but like, like the wifey said, we can get whatever you want made for you. If you want a big one like that, we can do that. But yeah. these are all on the site. Yes, yes. All small, these medium, large, and extra yeah. large are all on the site. Let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, seriously, let us know. We, we love the support. And uh, these will be great Christmas presents for your family, for your husband, if the wives are watching, and if the husbands are watching, which you probably are, you know, the racer backs, and we're, we got some stuff coming soon. Hopefully, first week of December, we got some extra stuff coming to the site. So make sure you're checking out rambeastprojects.com. And well, let's jump into this vlog. I'm going to show you guys a neat trick. The other day, um, Chase from Attention to Detail PA, our friend Chase, you've probably seen him in other videos. He's on the he, case. He's, Chase is on the case, and he detailed the beast, our winter detail. Well, it's that time of year, guys. It's that time of year. Before it's freezing, right? Yup, it's freezing. It's time to get ready for winter. So we got Chase here. Chase, tell him what you're gonna be doing to the truck today. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting the truck ready for winter. We're gonna get it all prepped for a coat of wax. We're gonna layer it with uh, some sealant, make it uh, nice and strong for winter, and nothing will stick to it. Now we're also going to do a full interior detail, get it all cleaned up, so it's nice to sit in, and hopefully Steve will destroy it with salt. 
Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not, guys. And then I'm going to do some preventative maintenance underneath the truck. We're going to do some sanding uh, to prevent some more surface rust. And then we're going to do some painting. And then I am going to protect it with some Amsel metal protector. And you can get that from me at bsynthetics.com. You have to check that stuff out. So hopefully there'll be less rust come spring. She's dirty. Very dirty. We got leaves all over the side of the truck. Interior is not that bad. I'm, I'm not a slob. Yeah, I'm not a slob, guys. I'm not a slob. She's killing it again, man. The truck looks awesome. Looks awesome. Whew. Guys killed it. I'm freezing cold right now. <laughs> but it looks so good. It does. Very happy. Oh, hey, by the way. As always. Oh, you found yeah, them? under the seat for you. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Uh-huh. We decontaminate with the clay bar. So we can actually have a strong bond between the wax and the paint. So we put a Caranoob wax on here to really get the depth and gloss of the paint. Then we topped it off with a spray sealant. The spray sealant is a um, really durable polymer based coating. So hopefully you have between six to eight months protection on here. Cool, just in time for the winter, right? Yep. It was dirtier than it normally is. On the inside, yeah, a little yeah. bit. For me, for me. A little me. bit on the inside. It's nothing compared to what we've seen. You wait till you get the um, Sacramento minivan that stuff six, six kids in the back of it. <laughs> You guys definitely need to check these guys out on Facebook and Instagram now. Instagram now. That's right. Attention to detail, PA. Uh huh. Thanks, Chase. Appreciate it. Thank you. I painted the front and rear axles, and any surface rust I treat it, paint it, and now I'm going to show you a trick. Another trick that uh, it's not new. It's not new by any means, but it has. I'm dark. 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 Dogs tripping me up. But it has something to do with B synthetics. Um, and Amsoil with their metal protection. So let's go knock that out now. The wife's gonna help me with that. What we're using today is Amsoil's metal protection, heavy duty. So the MPHD, and you can get that at bsynthetics.com, which is, that's us, that's us. So if you purchase this from us, it helps us out. Highly recommend becoming a preferred customer through us for Amsoil products. It's gonna save you on, you know, your yearly maintenance costs with some discounts and perks. A lot of guys have used fluid film, which is good, and it serves the same purpose to protect the underbody of your truck and your axles and what have you, your frame, but it leaves like a yellowish film to it. This doesn't. This has been tried already by Josh at Dirty Diesels, who got a case of this, and he's actually setting up a retail account through me to sell Amsoil products specifically this one because he loved it that much and he's gonna have this stuff at the shop but he used it on his truck and it's outstanding it makes it look like a wet finish versus like a yellowish tint and it's gonna protect your truck if you live in like a cold climate like us and we're getting snow tomorrow so I got I gotta get this sprayed the wife's out here she's helping it's 37 degrees <laughs> oh. so we're gonna start spraying underneath the truck and just give you a little example of what it looks like can I use the creeper? Yeah, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna start, and then I'll let you, uh, you can spray. You want me, I'll do the rear, you can do the front axle, I'll do the rear. Sure. I did some rust mediation on the, the rear axle tubes, and the axle, as you can see underneath there. I'll take that real quick. As you can see, we painted it with some Rust-Oleum, satin black paint, looks pretty good. So, we did that a few days ago when it was warmer. <laughs> I didn't film it because you know, it's kind of boring, you don't want to see that. But I wanted to get that all painted to get that surface rust covered before we treated it with the uh, Amsoil MPHD. So we're just gonna coat everything down. That's gonna get hit with that salt and that salt brine solution on the road. This does leave a mild yellow, yellowish tint, but I think that does clear up. Oh wait, sorry. This is all going to be caked with snow at some point, salt, all that crap. Um, I get your concept, but if we could snow that we're, high. We're supposed, we're dude, we did last year. 
Okay. We're gonna get snow. It's gonna. It's coming. It's coming tomorrow already. No. Yep. It's coming tomorrow. I'm trying to get every flat surface that it could possibly snow or something salt could lay in. Try to protect it. So you mean every crevice? Crevice. Yeah. That was your favorite word. <laughs> I'll do the front half of the rear axle, then I'll have the wipe in front. Just don't spray inside the wheels. The wipe is on the creeper and she's spraying. Just make sure you get the front axle, diff, all that. Ram beast! Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm scared! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> Oh my god, I would not have been able to do this 100 pounds ago. <laughs> How are you making out? Can I do shocks? No, nah, don't do shocks. Okay. Shut it. Boy, that. I'm about to wipe them down. Okay. Again, with my jeans. Oh, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> That's why I love you. Ugh. Over my glasses. You're protecting your glasses. Oh, I can't see though. <laughs> I have frostbite. What's that? I have frostbite. <laughs> Holy sheep! truck is done we use three full cans to complete the bottom of the truck special thanks to my awesome beautiful wife the lens is all jacked up hopefully you can see me <laughs> for helping me out with this because it is freezing out here I am using multi-purpose cleaner to uh, wipe off the areas that I don't want metal protection on such as like the Fox shocks front the front and rear dip covers this could potentially be a real and you know what to remove in the spring you want to get some of that all, you don't want all that on there anything that's not black you want to get it off if you do it fairly quickly it comes off pretty easily don't mind the mess guys but we got ram beast everywhere ram beast there Maisie right there Eddie's teddies yep yep, yep. more ram beast right there hold on Ram Beast right there. Again, thank you guys so much for all the orders. And more Ram Beast. We did, we're just Ram Beast everywhere. Thank you so much for all the orders. Oh, just the time for Christmas. It's the following day, and I had to pick the girls up from school because our bus oh, never bus came. Yeah. Bus never came because, well, it's a good thing we put our Amsoil metal protector on heavy duty Amsoil MP because look at this guys it is snowing legit snowing its butt off they were calling for a coating this is probably about three or four inches not expected none of the roads are plowed so we are good look at that and 
Josh was right. It does not look yellow. It just looks wet. I'm very happy with it. Check it out, guys. Holding up very nicely. Very happy. The Nitto Ridge Grapplers, thumbs up, man. These things rock in the snow. I drove right up this driveway, and this is deceptive. This is very deceptive, but if you're ever standing at the bottom of it, this driveway is very steep. The poor wife, she left work two hours ago. She's stuck in traffic. She's probably got another hour or two, and it's a standstill. So when she gets home, I'll put the video back on her. I'm gonna spray my snow blower with some Amsoil MP, and we're gonna get to snow blowing. Make sure the driveway's cleared for the wife when she gets home. So I just talked to the wife. She's like five minutes away. She's scared to drive up the driveway. Well, she's not comfortable backing up the driveway like I suggested. So I'm gonna go down and meet her at the end of the driveway. We'll see how her ride was. I think it was like almost four hours long. Hopefully I don't drop the camera going down here because, well, it's not the best. It's sort of like slushy, but this is, uh, this is steep. Our driveway sucks. It's horrible. I even threw an S ton of rock salt down here. Oh, it looks like some of it's melting. I wonder if we're gonna get the mail today. I don't think so. It's crazy, it's not even a lot of snow. It's like three inches of snow, not a big deal, but just wasn't expected. They said like a coating to an inch and uh, it definitely caught the state by surprise. The local townships are killing it, but uh, the state, horrible. I'll give you a little perspective of what the driveway looks like. So it's pretty, it's pretty steep. Right now it's currently freezing rain, sleet, and it's about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> The mic is starting to freeze over. Oh, where are you, Hetty? You said you were like right around the corner. Oh, freezing! You know, the type of stuff that would happen to her, Murphy's Law, her maiden name's Murphy, she would probably get stuck at the end of our development. Murphy's Law. Also, it could be Smitty problems. Oh my God, the camera's getting soaked. Oh, here she comes. Oh, look at those bright white lights. Headlight revolution. Oh. I'm a frozen popsicle right now. I was like, she said she was like five minutes away. Oh, I know. Oh, it's so warm in here. Here. Tell them about your trip home. How long was it? Four hours and 45 minutes. I'm so, I have, I have to go to the bathroom. Um, I don't know if he told you, tomorrow is our youngest birthday and she FaceTimed me every 15 minutes wondering if I was going to stop at the store to get her treats to take to school. And I told her the answer to that is no. That's on permanently. I want to turn it off. Oh, um, the answer to that is no and now um, all her friends are going to be disappointed because she said that she was going to bring her birthday treat in and I can't email her teacher to tell her teacher because apparently there's going to be a substitute tomorrow and uh, I'm the worst mother ever. Look at that. Put the mirror down on the fly. And then my awesome, wonderful, handsome husband got me at the bottom of the driveway because our driveway sucks. I'm glad you got home safe. Seriously. That was... It was crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you hated this video, still give us a thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash it like the Hulk. But don't break your phone like Kylie says. And one last thing. Make sure you get your Amsel metal protector, heavy duty, from us at bsynthetics.com. If you can even see us. Yeah. Hopefully you can see us. Mm. Make sure you check that out. So easy, even your wife can do it. And it looks beautiful. It is, she hasn't seen it yet, but it performed well in the snow. And I'm not looking at it tonight. <laughs> we'll check it out tomorrow. All right, guys, we love you. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you. We'll see you on the next upload. Bye. Bye.